Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and this morning we've got an emergency call out. There's a uh, must up here in the town up uh, just north of us. I was under the impression initially that it was a radiator hose because the person said it was a radiator hose. And uh, when I was confirming that they had, because I asked if they had everything they needed or if I needed to get parts is typically the first question I ask where it's located and if we need to get parts or they need to get parts and I know what I need to do. Um, he said he had everything. So I was like, perfect. <clears throat> when I was confirming to head up there, um, I'm like, you have coolant, right? And he's like, well, it's an oil radiator hose. <laughs> so I think it's probably for the oil cooler. I'm not exactly sure. He has the hose, so we'll go up there and just bill him out for what the job requires um you know if people are comfortable with that i'm i'm super honest with everybody so i just you know we'll bill it out for what it's worth if not then sometimes i'll say you know what it's going to be 180 dollars and i do it in like 20 minutes worth of work and i probably shouldn't have charged that much but if i quote it out beforehand there's a, a chance that it ends up being more than it should so we'll head up there uh get his car back on the road for him and uh, figure out exactly what's going on i have no idea but uh when we take the big truck here everybody i mean we have everything that we need i said everybody so i was looking at the channel members we've got pretty much all the channel members on there i think there's one or two new ones that need to be added so thanks for the channel to the channel members for uh supporting these videos and uh we'll head up there and get his car back on the road okay here's something i don't like see those guys up there those are parking enforcement they're not even police officers they literally just drive around town writing people tickets for their vehicles they check all the license plates. Can't tell you how many times they've put tickets on my truck, on my vehicles, like the day they expire, whatever that's, you know, normal. But they'll come like, because this truck will be sitting here sometimes for a day or two, they'll come put those big orange stickers on the window saying that the truck hasn't moved within three days and needs to be moved. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, I pay to live here. I pay taxes. Well, I don't own the house, but the, the homeowners pay the taxes. I'm like, we can park on the street. Like, so then I literally just have to move my truck like five feet so that it moved and they mark the tires, which I heard was unconstitutional basically, but I don't care. That's semantics. I don't care about the unconstitutionalness. Look, she's going to come out and get this car. This is a car I'm working on. Yeah, this is a car I'm working on. I actually uploaded this video. Look, she's going to turn around and take it. She's going to say it hasn't moved in three days. Are you gonna tag this car? The white one? What about it? So the complaint is that it's been parked here for three weeks. Um, I've already been out and chopped it. I yeah. Chop. I know, I did move it though. That's my thing, I can just move it right back here, pull it into the driveway, but yeah, yeah, it's just sitting here. 400 feet? So I just drive it down the block and park it right where it was parked again. Yeah, or this um Cause we just drove we just drove it down, yeah, we just drove it, turned it around and moved it back here, but yeah, it's just obviously like all my vehicles. I mean it's registered, it's just parked here. So. Well, um it's a citizen complaint, so somebody's Yeah, well I'm sure it was them because I parked it in front of their house, so <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah, I know it's not you. I mean, you have to come out and respond. So I'm just like, I'll, I, since I caught you, I'm like, I'll talk to you and see what yeah, I need to do just to get it to get it settled. So okay. Yeah, that's why I, I'm like, I could see the chalk there. I thought about spraying it off, but I'm like, well, I'm like, if it, if they tag it again, I can call or whatever. But we just literally like moved it and then parked it, and so I'm like, I'm not sure exactly what I have to do, but okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good one.
well, luckily people out here are super nice if you talk to them, but I caught the lady because I saw her driving around about to tag that car again. I'm like, well, I'm like, what do I need to do? It's registered and everything. She's like, well, I parked it in front of the neighbor's house. So I'm sure they called and complained about it because it was sitting there for like five days and it's supposed to be moved every three days. And then she's like, it's supposed to be moved 400 feet. So I'm like, what do I drive it 400 feet and then park it back in the same spot? Um, but anyways, I said this was my property. It's parked in front of technically I rent, so it's not mine, but we are, you know, we rent the property anyway. So she said that was fine. Obviously, I think you can probably hear that. Um, but yeah, so that's just a little annoying because they're always out here persistently just tagging cars. If they're, and that's a, like, that's a point. I have so many vehicles and projects I'm working on there. The registration's fine, but then, you know, they don't move for three days or four days and they'll just come by and throw tickets on the window and some of them are tickets that you have to pay if they're not registered if they're registered then they just put a big orange sticker on the window that's hard to get off saying they're going to tow it so then you got to move it and deal with all the hassle so whatever um anyways we'll head up there she was nice so uh she's just gonna uh take care of that file anyways whatever we'll head up there and get this oil uh oil hose taken care of probably for the oil uh cooler oil cooler line. I don't know if it's transmission or what. We'll figure it out when we get up there. All right. So we just got up here. Uh, it is just an oil cooler line. Um, he has some hose that's the same diameter that in theory we are just going to replace it with. So we'll see if we can make that work. And, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. His issue was he just couldn't get the hose itself off. It runs from the oil cooler, which looks like it may be an additional oil cooler to the uh, radiator. So it may be a transmission line. I'm not sure. Don't care enough to even look into it because uh, all I have to do is replace it. I don't need to know exactly what it does. He's got some hose clamps out there on that other one. I'm going to grab my hose pliers that's about it and uh, this should be a pretty quick job so we'll get over there and do it all right i can't find my hose grabbing pliers but maybe they're just sitting up here yeah this is what happens after like a couple of days of a lot of work uh this basket gets full of all my most used tools and then everything else kind of just gets spread around so uh i'll find those later i've got enough pliers to get that off just makes it easy with the right one but we'll hop back here is the vehicle get that hose replaced all right Let's up here here's the hose in question this very one right here to the top of this oil cooler and it runs right up here to the back of this radiator here so that's what makes me think it may be transmission basically again just couldn't get the hose off and i uh, didn't want to mess anything up so it should just need to be popped loose and uh pulled out of there so normally i would grab my hose pliers that have the little you know circle at the top to grab hoses these should be fine i've just got to grab it and you just kind of twist and work that hose loose uh, they kind of get welded to that metal when that rubber just uh, dry rods and gets old but uh come right off let's see i'm gonna grab these straight up it's gonna be a little better so if we grab the hose here we just work it like this and pop it loose looks like that whole hose is spinning now I'm going to grab it behind. Connector, since we're replacing the hose, you don't have to be super cautious about not breaking the hose itself. So, worst comes to worst, we can always cut it. All right, so what I did was just grab my angle cutters. I cut some reliefs on the top of that hose. Let me pull it out and show you what I mean by that. Since I can just show you. So here's the hose. Um, there wasn't enough space. I mean, you could fit a razor blade down and just slice it down the top this way. But if you can see those lines in there, I just snipped some just relief in that hose. Just four, four of those little snips on the top and it slid right off. It was grabbing pretty tough there. Um, 
but you know that's that's it so a lot of people don't like these hose clamps right here i'll probably reuse these regardless of everybody hating them i do have some of those uh hose clamps that you adjust with a screwdriver but uh if, if these are together they're the little two-piece ones i don't like these ones that much either if they stay together then i'll probably just reuse those but there's the top one and then uh the bottom one's right there so same thing here is it'll be more visible i'll show you kind of how i cut those reliefs in there and pop that off okay so it's like this Grab that hose, make a few snips in it down to the behind it. All right, so we'll snip that hose down now, like so. This one I can actually reach it sideways on the hose, so I may just go ahead and cut all the way down it like that and you need to be careful with these uh, metal lines not to snip those so just be cautious and there it is so I'm gonna take these pliers just pinch off this hose right now uh, has a little bit of oil in it so I'll just keep that pinched off and this is transmission and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this as well So I'm just going to smack this hose on here real quick, just to keep this from leaking. Alright, then we'll get this one routed. So here's this hose, here's the new one, and actually on the bottom transmission line there, uh, that's not on all the way, so I'm going to fix that for him as well. But uh, here's the line, same diameter, not the same hose, but we'll just route it up there, make sure it's out of the way of everything, and get this tied into the top. It just has an additional transmission cooler there, so for when you're towing stuff, uh, you know, that helps keep it help helps keep it nice and cool. So I'm, I'm going to fix this bottom hose for them real quick, and then uh, yeah, you can just see the clamps past that thing. The hose is supposed to be all the way up to that uh, little ridge there. All right, so there's that bottom hose. I got that put on correctly as well. And uh, now we'll just take this hose here and run it up to the top of that radiator. So I'll sneak it back there, keep it out of the way of everything and uh, should be good. All right, so I've got this hose pulled up through. I just got it cut down to length. I'm gonna remove some of this nylon sheathing right here so that I can fit my clamp around there. Just, I well, guess that pushes down enough out of the way. Uh, we'll get a clamp on here and then get it plugged in. Uh, yeah, well, let's get this hose clamp off here. We'll use this. I'm gonna get a bit of the oil on that hose so that it will act as a lubricant. It'll go on there nice and easy. Bingo. Super simple, put on. That's it, uh, it's a job well done. Uh, this should be good to get back on the road. It was super handy that he had the bumper removed for me. So uh, that's awesome. And uh, it's a job well done.